Hey students, my name is Gene Cho, professor of diesel technology at Miramar College. Today we're going to be demonstrating the alignment on the front end of a Freightliner 2004 model. This has also power steering. We need to prepare the vehicle by driving into the shop slowly and making sure not to engage the brakes harshly or this will load the suspension. We want a relaxed suspension system to simulate over the road conditions. First thing we're gonna do before we perform any service on the vehicle is to chalk the wheels. It's important that we inspect the steering and suspension components. The suspension components cannot be worn out to do a proper alignment. Then we'll inspect ball joints and pins for wear. Then we'll inspect tires for abnormal wear, which may lead us to certain causes. Then we'll verify correct tire pressure and air up the tires to the same pressures. I'm going to raise the vehicle using a suitable jack. This is a 10-ton floor jack. We are raising the vehicle to place the turntables under the front wheels. This will allow the wheels to turn freely on bearings so we don't scrub the tires on the ground and create excessive resistance in the steering effort. Then we'll lower the wheels onto the center of the turntables and unlock them. Next, I will mount the beam mounts onto the wheel rim. Be sure to secure the mounts with rubber tie-down cords to prevent them from slipping off. Next, we'll install the laser aligner beams. These must be installed and locked onto the flat side of the rotating pin. This is used to determine rotational position. The program that we'll use is Wind Speed by Beeline. We're going to choose the front end alignment and we'll start new. And we're going to choose for our vehicle, it's going to be a truck. I pre measured it, but this shows the measurement of the tire diameter. You're going to measure end to end of the tire diameter. We measured it at 44 inches. Center to center of the tread width with the tires facing forward was 80 inches. Our wheelbase was from the center of the front axle to the center of the rear axle. We measured that at 210 inches and our turning radius or turning angle will be 15 degrees. Once all your data is input, hit continue. The computer says to mount the wheels, wheel units, and raise the front axle, so we'll do that now. The alignment heads communicate through Bluetooth to the computer. The program has instructional videos if you do get lost. So I'm gonna wait for the arrow to turn green. That tells me I reached the calibration point, and I have to make sure that all four points are calibrated. And then I'll repeat the same procedure on the other side. So we'll set the wheel mounts to the 12 o'clock position, and then I'll lower them back down onto the turntables. So this is showing as us being towed out 9 16 of an inch. An out of camber result signals a bent axle, which usually means replacement, since bending of the axle is the only way to correct for an out of camber result. So first we'll need to loosen the tie rod clamp on both sides. They don't have to come off, we just have to make sure that they're loose. Once they're loose on both sides, then we will use a pipe wrench to turn the tie rod. The tie rod is threaded on both ends. They're opposite threads. So if we turn the tie rod tube, it will either contract or expand the length of the tie rod, which will adjust our toe. So I'm going to turn it about half of a turn, and then we'll double check our adjustment. Then steer the tires to the left and to the right, following the directions on the wind speed program. Once the measurements are taken, a page will display the results. So on this one, I gotta go in and I gotta steer the, the wheel to the right till I get to 15 degrees. Triangle will line up with this one. Once all the measurements are taken, you have a front end alignment results page and you can print this out. You can use this as a reference for how you're going to make your adjustments. And you can also give a copy of this to the customer. My name is Gene, thanks for watching. Make sure to check out our next videos.